Happy Friday everyone. So we're doing our December daily for day six. Today is the seventh. So what I got out is let's talk about it. Yesterday was all about like mailing out all the journals. It says today was a busy day. Made chopped beef loaded fries. Here is the picture. It was amazing. Um, stayed up so late getting all the journals out today. It was a crazy, hectic day. Um, so then I have this cute little, I have a concept that I'm kind of going to go with, but I don't know if it's going to work, so we're going to see. Here's day six, here's Thursday, and I got this little Santa that is at a mailbox. All right, so let's first cut our paper down to size, and I want to leave like a little bit of gap here. So we'll go there and then we'll go here. Alright, so we know we need two of those. Where is my paper room? Alright, close that down. So that's my extra, which I think I'm going to make something cool with that as well. Happy Friday. If I, I think I said that. Happy Friday, everyone. So this is going to be four and five eighths. And then we'll do another one of those. Can I have a Shh, I'm recording my video, baby. Four and five eighths. All right. So here are our base pages, right? And I have a little idea of what I'm gonna do um, behind them. I just wanna make sure they're not going in the gap too much. Okay, perfect. So let's get out black. Black again. Black is going to be the base color of inking up some stuff. So, choo, choo, choo. let's do our pages first. So, um, I hope everyone is staying warm. It, we got a cold front that came in, and I know I seen that Oklahoma was supposed to get a really bad storm and some other places. So, I hope everyone is safe and staying warm. Okay, it said. All of Texas, like the North Texas, is going to get snow, except for Dallas. We're getting cold rain. I'm like, ugh. So it's been rainy, rainy, raining all day. All day. A rainy day. Alright, so just inking up these little pages. And I'm going to try to stick this in the middle. And just kind of just kind of give it a little distressing in the middle not a lot just a little bit to get rid of that stark white all right that'll work so now i'm gonna ink up i think like adding black to me i talked about this yesterday in the video really just um kind of makes it really dimensional all right so kind of like a shadow effect a three-dimensional effect all right okay so we've inked up our pages let's ink up and i want it to not go too far in And then this, I'm going to hopefully get it to work really well. I hope and hope and hope it does what I want it to do. I think that's the only thing I forgot was some string. 
All right. Ink up this big old. It was so funny. I had to make like multiple trips and to drop off all the packages at the post office. Like, not to the post office, but into the post office from the car. Um, alright. So I have like a list. If you guys want tracking on your journals, um, just let me know. Send me an email at janscrazylife.com and I can send you um, your tracking number. Alright. So we have all that inked up for the most part. We're going to do a little ruddy red but here's my concept of what I want to do I don't know how well this is gonna work but I have kind of a concept let me find my blade okay so and I'm not even gonna measure this which I probably should let me yeah let me measure all right so we're gonna go up Can you guys see what I'm doing? All right, let's make sure. So I'm going up. I'm gonna make it the it go further up than down. So we're gonna do it at three and five. So what I'm doing is I'm going in about a uh this is about a quarter of an inch. No, a half an inch. So I'm gonna put a little mark at three and at five. All right, let me make sure this is my measurements are right. Three and five. Okay. So then we're going to go on this side. And we're going to turn the ruler this way. We're going to go in that half an inch. Oh, I'm off camera again. We're going to go in the half an inch and just do a little mark at three and five okay so there's our little mark so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna draw and I know it's hard for you guys to see this hold on I feel like those are not straight is it? Oh. it's not let's try this again so we did was that lined up? it wasn't all right, so we need to mark our lines at three and at five. All right, over here, we need to make sure our line is at three and five. Okay. So now I'm just gonna draw, let me get back in camera. I'm just going to draw a line from those two. Stop moving. Robert, go turn that TV down in my room a little bit, please. Robert. Can you go turn that TV down in my room a little bit? So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut a line with this exacto blade. Just following that line that I made. Okay, you guys, I was just making sure y'all could see me. Right there. And I didn't cut all the way through, I guess, but I was trying not to cut my desk. Probably should have done this on a mat, but hold on. The line's there. Let's just do the other line. Three. And five. All right. This one is opened. All right. And then let's finish opening that one and then we're gonna do hold on I'm just getting it to open all the way up I'm trying not to cut my desk I probably should have done this on another piece of paper we got it okay so the concept is in my page this is gonna stick behind it right 
but I want to cover this little section so it makes it really obvious. All right, so this is four and one eighth. I'm going to write this down four and one eighth by. Um, we're going to go with one and seven eighths. One and seven eighths. But I need to remeasure this because I do want it to. We're going to do four and a half. Four and one half. Okay. So that's where this paper comes in, right? So we're cutting four and a half by one and seven eighths. So four and, well, let's cut the one and seven eighths first. <clears throat> one and seven eighths by four and a half. All right. And then we have this cute little thing that's going to get glued it down in the center of this page. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Let me center that to the best of my ability. And then we're going to back this with the same paper. And let me move this center over. And then I think I'm going to use some nesting dies with this paper, which I'll probably pause the video and then come back so the video is not as long, right, while I cut out. But I'll show you what I'm going to do in theory. Alright, so I just want this ornament, so I'm kind of making it look like an ornament, right? And I just wanted this really pretty paper to be on with the screen. Alright, so here, and then I'm going to put a string up here so it looks like an ornament that is tucking in and out of the page, right? So the concept is for, oh, I was all writing on my little thing. Thursday, and I have it upside down. Thursday, hold on, I'm trying to see. Thursday the 6th, or should we do it to where, look, down here it's shorter, and then up here we put Thursday the 6th. I think that's cuter. All right, we got to get some string for that, and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take the rest of this paper, and I'm going to use these nesting dies that I have that look all squiggly. I got these off of eBay, I believe, or AliExpress, but I'm going to kind of cut out all my scrap papers and to, to make like little nesting um, thing to go on here. So I will be back. All right, I'm back. So I to cut out all of these with the coordinating paper. Look how pretty they are because that's going to hold my sentiment. And I'm going to glue these on and then this is going to be... Hold on, we might want to, but this one, I like this, but I think it's too big. It doesn't look right. And the problem is this is too wide. So maybe we make some pockets, right? Let me see. So what I did was I have the rest of them over here. And I'm going to put them layered down like this. And I'm flipping this over. All right. So this is going to go here with Thursday. The six is going to go here. It's going to be back with something. Santa is going to go here. Um, maybe we should do our sentiment this way. And the back. 
But see, this would fit. We're going to hide that behind our... But I don't want to... The problem is we're going to have to cut this top straight to make it work the way I need it to work. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blade and I'm going to cut this just straight only at the top. So we have a straight surface for it to flip. Then we're going to measure out... Let's do this one. No, that's our picture. Okay. Let's just get our long scissors and cut that. All right, so now we only need about less than half of this. And then that's going to get folded. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense what's going on, but it's all going to come together and you're going to be like, ha ha, I get it. I get it now. Hold on. So, there we go. So this is our flip. This is going to go on here. Let's glue this down. it up, line it up, and the split second time that we have, nope, it didn't line up. All right, let's try that again. And I'm going to try to line it up this time. Okay, we got it. I'm going to cut this down on both sides and then I'm going to ink it back up because then it's going to work. Okay, so now this is going to go, all right, let's glue these on. We're pretty much almost there and I know that you aren't understanding but you will see it all come together very soon. All right, so that goes there. This goes here. And then this goes here across. So that's our flip that's going to be here in the middle. And then down here, underneath here, we're going to have the milling. And then over here, we're going to back this. So let me just glue this on here. Let's cut this out. I'm surprised that I don't have a bunch of glue on my myself like I've been having it lately. Alright, so this goes down here. You want to back this one with the red. Alright. So this one So this goes here. I think we need to make it a little shorter uh, so it's not all up on the part. Just a little bit of red poking out to make it look dimensional. I need to ink all this up. So then we're going to back the Santa on the red and then we'll fussy cut him out. And then that way, when we ink it all up, it'll look like it's dimensioned properly. Okay, so let's cut off that. 
and then ink him up. So here we go. So there's Santa. I might put him up here. All right, so let's glue down this stuff. Oh, the middle piece. I could put the six in the middle, but I think we don't want it in the middle. All right, so now we'll put down Thursday and then we will glue Thursday on that belly band that we made in the page. So the tricky part is when we glue this down, I will show you because we wanna make sure we don't glue the belly band part. But I will show you how we'll do all that. That's why it's better to put the page together outside, if that makes sense. All right, so we're just inking everything up again, inking up, inking up stuff. And I could have put, I didn't want to, this is going to go here, but I could put this here and put now we want day six over there with Thursday. Put Santa down here and we'll figure it out. We're going to put what we had for dinner up here behind the flip. And then we're going to glue this part down. And then I went and got some ribbon, a bag of ribbon for my desk. All right, all the way to the top. And then we'll put some glue up here to put the flip. And there's our flip. Santa is going to go down here. And then on this page, we're going to put our six and glue it down and then I'm going to put some ribbon on our ornament, Santa kind of mailing ornament, right? All right, let's put this in that corner. And then here, let's find which ribbon we want. All right, so there's different ribbon, but I like how, I don't know, I think we're going to use this one. So let me just cut enough to pull a knot. All right, so the point of this is I want to take um, and make this into a knot because you know how like when ornaments they have um, like it's kind of tied string. So I want to, hold on, tie the string in a knot at the top. All right, bow string, pull it, and then I'm gonna get my stapler and staple this on here so it looks like an ornament. How cute is that, right? And then let me cut this, and I'm just going to burn my edges so it doesn't come apart. And then this goes in like this. How cute is that, right? So there's our pages. So let's glue these bad boys in our book. All right, trash needs to be picked up. Okay, so when we're gluing in this page, we wanna be careful and only get the edge, right? So all of this part gets glued down, right? So all of this, Yes, glue down, getting the edge really well. Um, only want to glue the outside over here. All of this 
only the outside, but all of this. All right, so we're going to put this page in our book. Okay, make sure everything is straight and where it's supposed to be. Make sure this works. Our tuck is working. So this goes here and this side. Glue everything down and on. I need to fill up my glue thing. Alright, so Oh, bent that. Alright, so push it down right here, which is kind of overlapping. Let me pull that back up. We don't want that. Hold on. Let me, I'm just going to trim a tiny, tiny bit off because I feel like this paper is too big. But I need to get it straight first. Hold on. Alright, so let's ink that up. Because you won't want a gap in the middle because it's going to cause issues. Like, I mean, you don't want to... Hold on, let me get that glue off. You don't want them because it'll fold on each other and then your book don't want to close. So you have to be careful with as you put more paper in these books to make your pages smaller, right? And I was like, though it would fit and it was okay, I didn't want to have issues later. So, I'm going to line this up all the way to the left. And then we're going to push it down. And that was why I put black in the middle at the beginning. Was because I knew we would see the black because I wanted to make sure that there was a gap in between. All right, so there is our spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry, this was a long one, kind of like out there, but I wanted, I had this concept and I was trying to go with it. But thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, because the best is yet to come. Bye.